Hello and welcome to another episode of Banded Fishing UK. In this episode, as you can tell, it's our Christmas special. Feeling very festive. You see our decorations as well. Uh, we are fishing Nab Rock, which is near Mumbles in Swansea Bay. The target is just about anything that swims. We like to have something to take home for dinner one day in the week. Whiting, dabs, they are very common here. And then we've got rocklin, flounders, it's a good mix of fish here. Nothing massive, but there's plenty of, plenty of variety anyway. We've got a few bites already on the first cast and water's just hit in the wall. So all things are looking promising. Oh, well I've got a bit of a bite here. Hope you can pick that up. Just tighten up. It's a pretty strong bite. No idea what it can be. I've got little worm baits on that. I've got a, I'm using Wessex rigs and three hook flappers. I think this is a Wessex with small hooks on it. There it goes, that's a nice bite there. Just gonna see what's on there now. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Yeah, something tidy, I think. Hopefully not a dog fish, because there's loads of doggies in this bay. Loads of them. Can't see anything yet. Oh, it's either come off or it's skating on the surface. There's something there, it looks flat. Coming up the wall. Oh, shocky the knots of the eyes. Oh no, it's not flat. Oh. Nearly got a hook in my beard. And there we go. That's actually my second fish. The first one was a, a five bearded rocklin. That's a good start anyway. We just fish about in very shallow water. Lovely, let's get him back. My first fish of the night. And what a beauty it is. Very good size uh, dab there. Must be 30 plus centimetres. Lovely thick fish. Um, taking on a bit of ragworm. Unusual, because it's taken here with a pop-up. Or a double pop-up. Usually, obviously, that would lift it off the, ground, off the, off the seabed. But hasn't stopped him from wolfing that down. I'm gonna get him uh, unhooked, slip him back, and see if you can get some, something else out. Oh. Well, the rigs I'm using, like I said, are flappers and Wessex rigs. That's a flapper, which has just come back in. Can't see with my own light. And that's a, a Wessex. The Wessex is the one that's caught the fish so far. Simple baits. I got a few attractors, they don't hurt. I don't even know what makes it. A couple of loomy beads, small hooks, size four, short chunk. We have got some frozen mackerel here and some mini squid, but the majority of the baits are going to be worm baits, and we're talking things like ragworm and blow lug. No elastic today for me, and just getting a hook, empty hook, nice and clean baits, just threading the worm on a couple of times. The casting is not going to be over, you know, it's not going to be very powerful casting. We're looking at 70, 80 yards distance. There we are. So we've just threaded that on. Hook point is nice and clear. And I'll slide the attractors down. As always, it's important to keep your bait close to the hook. No point having a long bait up here. Nice and small, compact. The fish will still find it. That's a rag. I just learned a tip as well for any Santas out there. Don't get hooks stuck in your coat, in the felt coat. It's quite hard to get it out, you have to cut it out. As I've had to twice already. Uh, lugworm, with a lugworm you can slap them on something hard. And they sort of, they go a bit stiffer. It's a bit easier to put on then. So again, just thread it on. A couple of times, not being too fussy. The baits are only out there a few minutes before you get a bite. Again, small bait, just pull them over the knot. And slid it down. That's the sort of baits we are using. You can always tip it with a tiny bit of mackerel or baby squid 
but they work fine on their own. Cheap session, easy tactics, anyone can catch fish here. Just knocked my headlamp off. There we go, that's my third fish of the night. A little white den, it's just under size. But yeah, I've had a, a rock a doggy and a white den. Good signs, and the water is just hitting the wall, so it's early days yet, very early days. So let's get him back. We're having constant bites on all rods. I might have to drop to one rod like Lloyd. That left one going, I hope we can pick that up. Lies into a fish in the background. Should be able to see in. I'm using slightly heavier rods just because I had the reels and, and rigs ready in my box. So it was just easy, lazy really, but there we go. Both my rods are going at the same time. But Lloyd has gone for the lighter approach, which suits this area. He's got a continental setup. So he will get a bit more fun out of the fish. He's just about to pick his fish out. Doggy, I think. <laughs> How many? <laughs> oh, no. Three, three doggies. Oh. Mad stuff. Mad stuff. It's like fish soup out there. Don't want these, but... You bit don't mind catching them at times, like so. Bit of sport, isn't it? Bigger on the bottom. Yeah, it's a big one. Other two are tiny. Real, Real small. Pups. Yeah. I just hope they don't take over now, because we're getting some nice, nice fish. Won't nice we? dabs and white din. So. Get them back and. Uh... Let's plod on. Well done. I got a fish on, and I've been fishing two rods. One's got a grip lead. One's got a plain lead. Oh, my beard's going in my mouth there, isn't it? This is on the plain lead, so this one is bumping around the tide slightly. I usually picks up a few flatties. But I'm afraid it's just another doggy. Oh. They are coming thick and fast now. Swansea Bay is known for them. And they can be relentless. Oh, can't see me. There we go, that should be better. Finally something different. Another rocklin. Five bearded. One of my favourite fish, any type of rocklin, a lovely looking fish. Only small, you don't get much bigger than that. I, uh, I cast literally about 10 yards off the wall to get that. Because any, any sort of cast, 50 or 60 yards over, we're getting doggies every chuck, so... Just mixing up a bit, that's all. Nice. Oh. I'm trying to eat my mince pie. Don't get two seconds, the rods don't stop. I gotta bite them both again. Now this one on the left is literally five or ten yards out from the wall, so Let's see if there's something on there. No, I missed him that time. The way it's spun up, I'd say a rock in again. Never mind, baits are perfect, so they're going back out. Just under the rod tip. The other, the other rod is going now. It's wild. Absolutely wild. I'm leaving a bit of slack line on that. I want to try to get, get all my hooks on the bottom. We'll see what's on you. This one's cast not so far, it's out a bit further than the other rod. Oh no. Feels like a doggy. 
Yeah, looks like a doggy. It's better reeling them in for 100 yards. Lost count already. Absolutely wild. Oh -ho. That's more like it. Nice dab, nice size. This one's going to come home because I love eating dabs. Gorgeous fish to eat. Really nice. I wonder if we can see if we can see through. Lovely fish to dab. Yeah, underrated isn't eating fish. They don't get very big. That's, that's a decent size one. But that's a, that's a good meal for one. Perhaps you'll have a catch and cook one day, you never know. Yeah, there's a hook. Happy. Yeah, nice fish. There's a bite on the inside rod. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. This fish has been winding me up for about 10 minutes. Yes. I want to feel him taking a couple of times. I think I got him. I think I got him this time. He's a white in. <laughs> <laughs> He's a white in, just under the wall. So that goes to show just how close you can catch a fish. Literally, right under the rod tip. Shock leading out to the water. The shock not, anyway. Only small, better than doggies any day. So using the same rigs as Phil today, um, Wessex rig and a three hook flapper. Um, Wessex rig's got 18 inch snoods on it and a flapper 12 inch. Um, on the Wessex one though with the snoods, got a couple of floating beads like you saw on the on the dab then. These are well the Luminous Tronics Pro floating beads. I think they're about an eight mil, somewhere around there. White in absolutely love it for glow in the dark. Anything glow in the dark really really switches on the white in. Uh, find it tough for the minute though because the the number of dogs that are in, we really cut down our cut down our cast like Phil's already said. But all I'm going to do now with these is put a tiny bit of worm on, only just big enough to keep the hook, and hopefully get these up off the bottom and away from a dogfish. Hopefully it'll work. We'll put it into a practice and see if we can get a couple of white in out. Finally, something different: white in, casting short. Taking a little bit of worm. Phil's got a bite of it so, in the background. Phil in the background. See if he's get a guess one as well. Oh, he's got a fish on. What's he got? Oh, you wouldn't believe that. Literally, doggy right under the wall. It's five yards out, that is, and it's not an exaggeration when it says five yards. You can't avoid him. My shark leader not, he's out of the water. <laughs> get him a knock to get him back. Another dab. A bit smaller this one. Should so be going back. Loads of bites still. You got a little marking on his on his belly. 
in good condition, healthy fish. Say so lip hooked, tiny little worm baits. Just check them back. Well, things are looking a bit more promising. It's more like it. We're actually getting a few of the fish we'd have to know. They are small, yes, but they're wiped in. That's what we've come here for. Our baits are actually getting a soak now. Oh, not my rod. They're getting a soak, so we're bound to pick a few better ones up. So we've got to work hard now and keep the baits going on. Oh, there we go, another dab. Nice eating size one as well. You can call that mottled effect on this one. Slightly different colour, like a bit of green mixed in. They're a nice looking fish. Bristling. Yeah, nice eating. You taking him home. Well, there we go, our last cast. We're still into the fish. A couple of doggies for me. And a nice dab and a white dimple light. We've had loads of fish. Uh, on top of these species, we've had rocklin as well. And I dropped something, it was either a mackerel or a herring on the surface. That was a strange one. But uh, yeah, it's been a good session, nice change, getting the, the smaller fish, numbers of small fish for the change. We've had probably 30 odd fish between us, at least that. It's hard to keep count after you get up sort of 10 each. But as always, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.